Hey everyone. So if you are watching this video today, the chances are you are excited, curious, and maybe a little confused about how to join Vedam School of Technology. Today I, Lovelyne, and Mr. Chandan Mathur, Vice President of Vedam School of Technology, will be covering all of your doubts. So let's welcome Mr. Chandan Mathur. So hi Chandan. Hi Lovelyne. So let's get into the video. So Chandan, there are a lot of questions that are coming from students and parents. So let's take up uh, them one by one. First question is about the Vedam and ADYP tie-up. If you can, you know, shed a light on this question. No, I think it's an important question, you know, uh, and often the first question, you know, which I get asked is, what is the association between uh, Ajahn Kadiwe Pardal University and Vedam School of Technology? Uh, who is trying a degree? What is Vedam? See, Vedam School of Technology is the industry partner to Ajahn Kadiwe Pardal University. Now, Ajahn Kadiwe Pardal University, you know, is a UGC approved university. It can offer degree programs of its own. And uh, that is what you know. Vedam School of Technology has partnered with uh, Ajinkya Devapal University over here to actually offer an industry-relevant education. And while the students are you know pursuing their regular B.Tech degree program, so it's like this thing that you know uh, when you enroll in this program, uh, you know at end of four years you will get a degree uh, B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering with AI specialization from Ajinkya Devapal University. And you will also get a you know UG completion course certificate from uh, Vedan School of Technology. So you are very much you know uh, pursuing a regular B.Tech degree program, and at the same time you are getting uh, industry relevant education, industry relevant mentors, uh, internship placement opportunities from Vedan School of Technology. Yeah. Okay, so the next question, which is coming a lot, like who will be the mentors mm. and instructors or the faculty at Vedan School of mm. Technology? So I think yeah again you know this is an important question and uh, see there will be you know four levels uh, if I talk about in terms of you know the kind of guidance which the students will be getting okay so first is uh, the instructors now these are your faculty who will be there in the campus who will be teaching the students the theory classes all right so uh, it's like you know they will they are they are senior instructors. Uh, and as I said, you know, in Vedam, uh, the one of the major USPs is that instructors are also, you know, software developers themselves. So these are people, you know, who have worked in top tech companies, uh, you know, like Subhesh, you know, uh, he is, he's, he's leading the academic delivery. He will be teaching uh, as an instructor one or a few of the topics as well. So, you know, people like him uh, who know coding as well, but who also have a passion for teaching. So instructors would be the ones, you know, who would be taking these theory classes. Then secondly, you know, we have got assistant faculty uh, who would, you know, kind of uh, take all the practicals, all the lab sessions for the students. So it's like, you know, you've done a theory class, you listen from the best. Uh, now, you know, you have to practice it yourself. And when you'll practice yourself, when you code yourself, then, you know, you'll, of course, uh, you know, kind of get stuck anywhere. And that's where, you know, uh, the assistant faculty will come into the picture. Uh, you will have, you know, for every 60 students, you'll be, there'll be one assistant faculty who will be there to guide. They will shadow the students and, you know, they will help them uh, clarify out so that, you know, uh, they are able to progress through in their coding journey. That's the second level. Third is, you know, when it comes to the mentors. Now, these mentors are, you know, people who are working in different companies. Uh, so, like, you know, unlike uh, the faculty, the instructors and the assistant faculty who are based out of the campus and all, the mentors are working in different companies. They could be in Amazon, they could be in Meta, they could be in Microsoft, they could be in any other top tech company. They're working over there. But at the same time now, these mentors are there to, you know, interact with these students. So these mentors will typically interact twice in a month with the, with the students. And these mentors will be there to, you know, uh, kind of, guide the students on specific outcomes. So like, let's say if somebody wants to prepare for a Google Summer of Code, somebody wants to, let's say, prepare for an internship at Amazon, somebody wants to prepare for the written test at Microsoft. So these mentors will be there to, you know, guide uh, these students out on these specific outcomes. And uh, these interactions between the mentor and the students will be happening online. And, uh, you know, the idea being that 
whatever you know you are learning through the instructors through the assistant faculty these mentors will add a layer above that in terms of you know uh, more industry relevant and more practical guidance coming in from them then there are you know the fourth level wherein you know you'll get guest speakers uh, industry ctos cxos you know who will be coming for guest sessions and these you know will be you know uh, connects which will be happening over let's say a weekend or something like that where they will come in and they will speak to the students they will interact with them uh, and students can you know interact uh, real time they can ask questions and all of that so all in all the idea is that you know you get a very industry first experience uh, right from the theory class right from the you know the doubts right from the practicals then you know from the mentors then you know you have the guest speakers coming in so i think all of these put in combined you know really elevate the experience which the students are getting and i think uh, all of this put together you know i mean uh, i think it's a great great experience which i i think the students should really look forward to right so another question coming from students to experience all of this they have to stay at the campus like the students who are coming from out stations mm. what is it about the hostel <coughs> festival facility do we have hostels inside the campus or maybe yeah. outside the campus yeah. so if you could uh, explain no that. i think you know that's a very important question and uh, i think a lot of parents and students have been asking uh, so i think uh, we have uh, now all the options uh, all the solutions over there so one is that uh, you know the students can stay within the campus that's one option uh, the only thing is that the university has got you know limited supply of beds so they get allocated on a first come first basis uh, so you'll get a limited supply over there so keeping this in mind you know we have also got options for the students outside the campus and uh, where they can stay with all the vedam students and uh, they can avail that option as well and thirdly if there are some students who want to like let's say avail it on their own uh, that's also something which they can do but i would recommend you know either like you stay in the university or you know you stay in an option which you know we are suggesting out so that you can stay with the rest of the vedam students so yeah i think uh, and along with this you know uh, when you're staying you would have the 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 fooding arrangements and all also uh, available in the hostels yeah okay then another question coming how vedam will help students in internships and mm. placements this is an important part and you know i mean uh, surprisingly uh, you know sometimes the parents ask will uh, the university provide the placements or uh, will vedam be helping them out or will students have to do it on their own so i think uh, see vedam basically specializes in this whole thing we bring in uh, that whole placement network the founders have been uh, you know in the space uh, of the education upskilling space for last 6 years so that is what our strength is you know uh, we bring in the whole placement network with us and a lot of companies you know whom we have already partnered with and all and the idea is that you know we will only be preparing students out for the placements and internships and like you know the placements are going to be happening in the fourth year what we are saying is that you know uh, we are not waiting till the fourth year we are, and that's why that's how the whole curriculum is also structured so like you know it's in the first year uh, we prepare them out on all the programming fundamentals in second year we are helping them out with full stack technologies so now if you know this much if you have worked hard with us in the first two years then you know getting a paid internship in the in the fifth sem uh, you know will be a cake walk and now if you get that i think you know uh, when companies actually come for placements in the 7th sem you know you would have covered all the fundamentals uh, you know uh, you know uh, full stack you know dsa you know all of these things together you've done 6 months internship i think i mean the companies will really go for you know people like these students for placements i think uh, that's what you know we are getting them ready as well and then you know uh, like after the fifth sem and they come in uh, we are then you know getting a deep dive into the sixth sem uh, and seventh sem basically into the ai uh, which is you know uh, you know help them prepare for you know what all new is happening in the tech world uh, but at the same time you know what we are doing is in the first two years uh, we are building in that foundation which is kind of needed irrespective of you know technology of the days i mean you know i mean some years back uh, people are talking about that okay you know this uh, xyz is a technology uh, today everyone is talking about ai uh, 
uh, you know tomorrow people will be talking about something else now what what we are doing is that you know in first two years we are only covering the fundamentals which are needed uh, to you know once you if you have the, all of that then you know what all technology stack will keep coming over it you will be able to learn it unlearn it and you know uh, you know kind of become an expert in that if your foundations are strong that's what we are doing you know at vedant school of technology correct so there is another question yeah. uh, i think like it's valid only yeah. so students are asking that macbook is it a gimmick or we are actually providing them uh, macbook yes of course the macbook is there for the for these students only and when they come into the class uh, you know in august and when the classes start we'll be handing them over these macbooks it is for them they take it even after the four years with vedant school of technology so it is yours and which macbook they will be getting so it is you know apple macbook air m4 uh, it's the latest configuration you get all of that and uh, so don't be worried about you know uh, you getting some old configuration and all i think from a student learning perspective i mean the configuration which is needed is what we are providing and uh, you know you will not face any struggles any any issues around in terms of you know that you know i need a higher configuration or something like that i think you know our experts at vedam have taken care that okay you know we provide the latest configuration and so that you know our students are having all the cutting edge tech with them yeah right okay talking about the scholarships mm. so students are asking what is the scholarship criteria mm. first thing mm. and the second thing is what is the highest scholarship that we have awarded till now so see uh, see when when we are actually you know preparing uh, when we decide on a scholarship we do it based on the merit score of the student now when we are calculating the merit score we are taking into consideration the 10th the 12th uh, the je main score they performance in the visa they performed in an interview and any significant extracurricular or you know coding achievement which is there basis that the scholarship gets decided that's one now second thing is the scholarship is given basically in four equal parts so uh, whatever scholarship you're getting uh, the one fourth uh, of it they get by default in the first year now if during the first year if they are maintaining a grade point of 7.5 and a attendance of 75% then automatically the scholarship uh, you know the second year scholarship gets given to them uh, and likewise for the third year and the fourth year the same criteria gets repeated and uh, you know what is important to note over here is see the uh, the requirements which we have asked for the intention is not uh, you know to not get the scholarship the intention is uh, that we provide the support of the scholarship but at the same time we want the students to maintain that sincerity level we want the students to you know maintain that uh, the dedication level so like you know any university will ask for you know maintaining a 75% attendance and like if you are actually you know targeting top tech companies they actually you know put up a cut off of 8 8.5 or even 9 in some cases so i mean we are asking for 7.5 i think that's like a bare minimum which you should any which is aim for so i think which is pretty much doable and achievable is what i can say and uh, like you know in terms of uh, the question uh, what's the highest we have given so far i think so far we have given uh, i guess 70 75% is is the highest we have given still that 100% uh, person is awaited okay so there is another question that a student is asking that i am joining vedam school of technology what kind of peers i will be surrounded with so yeah i think uh, you know i am genuinely very excited about the kind of talent we have been able to you know attract so far uh, you know uh, we have got people of all different kinds uh, we have got students with percentile 97 96 uh, with us we have got uh, you know people who are uh, you know played nationals in sports like kabaddi uh, volleyball and hockey we've got you know uh, people who have performed uh, in dancing shows and uh, you know music competitions at national levels uh, we've got uh, at the same time we also got jack of all trades so you know we got people who are good in all different different kind of things but maybe not the best in everyone so i think it's a it's a very varied cohort which you are getting and but the important thing you know which which is there in all of these is that they have a i think a, a dedication to do something uh you know to 
to you know kind of innovate and uh, they have a certain level of aptitude which is needed to excel and you know i'm kind of really looking forward to this exciting bunch of you know youngsters which are joining us okay so this is the last question that how a day will look like uh, of a student at vedam yeah so see you know typically how uh, a typical day in class uh, would look like is uh, like we have planned classes monday to friday uh, and the idea is that you know in first half of the day typically we would have lectures uh, by the instructors which are mostly you know theory classes and second half of the day uh, you know we have the labs and the practicals which are planned out uh, so that you know uh, there is a balance between the theory and the practice and uh, you know evenings are kind of free where they you know they can involve themselves in in different activities so that you know they have a change from the academic life and all as well and uh, but i can tell you one thing that you know we will keep the students busy in terms of you know a lot of activities a uh, lot of initiatives of you know student run uh, initiatives as well so i think uh, if if someone is looking out for a active life where you know they are fully involved i think uh, wellm school of technology will offer them that okay since we talked about how a day will look like at vedam so are there any clubs uh, at vedam yeah right so you know um, there are of course clubs which are there at wellm school of technology and the most important thing is that they are going to be all student run clubs we want the students to take initiative we want them to lead these clubs and there are two types of clubs which are planned so you know we have got uh, coding clubs we have got non coding clubs uh so there are going to be like a competitive programming club there's going to be a open source club there's a entrepreneurship club there's a sports club there's a esports club so you know lot of there's a cultural club so all of these clubs are there and you know students can participate can lead and you know can organize activities they can call speakers they can call artists and you know conduct these activities across which of course you know vedan school of technology will you know help support them out and at the same time you know vedan school of technology are also students of ajinkya deva parle university so you know they can participate in the university activities and all as well the university infrastructure is of course there uh, to support the students out and so yeah i mean you know they'll have a proper university life uh, which you would want uh in your college life so that's what you're going to get i think uh, that's all i think we have covered a lot of questions coming from the students and i would uh, really encourage students to keep asking more questions in the comment section so we can cover up them in the next video uh thank you thanks for having me over here thank you so if you like this video and want to stay tuned with vedam school of technology make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel